Hello, this is Michael of The Resurrected Hobbyist, bringing you another tutorial video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how I make my mounting arms. Mounting arms are basically a pole device that allows you to hold a model piece while it is being painted or primed. This particular version I make the way I do because it's effective for using small pieces like this chest emblem for a Gundam model. Now then, for this project, you're going to need several tools and a bit of material. First thing you're going to need is going to be a bunch of these bamboo shish kebab skewers. You can get these at most cooking or grocery stores. Next thing you're going to need are a series of these little brass lamps. I got these at Radio Shack. They're about $3 for a package of 10 Whatever kind you get, Make sure that they are the type that don't have teeth in the jaws because serrated teeth will damage your model parts and can cause you more work in the long run. Uh, a pin vise with a couple different size of drill bits, a pair of needle nose pliers, a set of clippers though a saw or a cutting blade of some sort will work just as well. And then I use super glue. And because I'm impatient, I have accelerant for that super glue. <clears throat> the other things that you're going to need are going to be a box of toothpicks. You're going to need at least one toothpick for each uh, finished mounting pole you intend to make. And tape. For convenience, I'm using a roll of duct tape. You can use masking tape, electrical tape, you know, pretty much any type of tape you want to use or whatever you have on hand. So first thing you need to do is take the shish kebab skewer and put a round of tape at the top part of it where you're going to mount the lamp itself. Bamboo is a very firm and dense wood so when it is dried out and used to make things like the shish kebab sticks they have a tendency to split if you are not careful and even if you are careful so we're going to put the round of tape at the top like this to help prevent it from splitting while we're working with it As you can see, you don't need a lot around the top, just enough to keep it from splitting. So now I've got my five skewers that have been wrapped with tape. So now the next part we need to work on is actually preparing the clips for mounting. This gets a little tricky, so bear with me. Okay. Take one of the toothpicks and snip it right about in half. I'll also go ahead and do the others now too. And then take one of the clamps, lay it down on your work surface, and place the toothpick inside the base of it. Put a little dab of super glue around the base of the toothpick. And put it on the clamp. The reason I do this is these clamps are intended for wire. So you would put wire into the back and then secure it by passing it through this hole here. And then you can close the clamp on it to hold it. Well, toothpicks don't quite work that way, so I had to improvise something else. 
and super glue worked fairly well for me. Quick little dab of accelerator because like I said I am lazy. Then use the pliers to close the teeth around the toothpick. So that way this isn't going to fall off. Make sure you didn't get any glue on the spring, otherwise the clamp isn't going to work. Okay. Now we can go ahead and do the other four. Alrighty, and now I have the five clamps ready to go. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is drill the tops of the shish kebab skewers in order to mount the clips. So what I'm doing is I'm taking a pin vise with a small drill bit, about a one millimeter drill bit, and I'm going to go into the top of the shish kebab skewer. I'm going to start with the small drill bit and then move up to a two millimeter drill bit. Starting small and working your way up also helps prevent the skewer from splitting. You may be wondering why I don't use a power drill or a Dremel. Well, as I mentioned before, bamboo is a very dense wood. And using a power drill bit on such a small surface such as the top of the skewer makes it hard to keep my positioning. Uh, it has a tendency to skip and fly off the top of the skewer. And since I'm working right next to my fingertips, I would rather not have that drill bit go into my fingers. Oh. Rather than show you my drilling all five of the skewers one at a time twice. I'm just gonna do one on video. So, I already have the smaller hole. Now I'm gonna put, I'm gonna enlarge it so it'll be about the same size diameter as the toothpick that I mounted the clip on. Again, got to be careful and slow with this. Even though we put the taper on the top to help prevent the uh, shish kebab skewer from splitting, it can still split. And I'll tell you, you do not want to pull a bamboo splinter out. That hurts a lot. Now, you really only need to go down about mm, a quarter to a third of an inch deep. Once you get that deep, you can take one of the clips that we prepared, chop off the end so you have a little over a third of an inch left, and then insert it into the top of the shish kebab skewer. And again, using some super glue, we're going to secure it. A little dab of super glue and nestle the clamp down in there. And then drop of accelerant to dry it. And there you go. You now have a mounting hole that you can put small pieces on or even large pieces on use these for priming or painting. 
There you go. This has been another tutorial from the Resurrected Hobbyist. As always, keep modeling, keep learning, always stay safe. <laughs>